Hey there guys, it's Psycho Red here and I wanted to give you guys just a quick update and tutorial on how to download the GBA for iOS and iEnchantify emulator and application on your iPhone for free. Uh, this will be uh, without the date trick and this will actually work on iOS 9.3.2 without any sort of jailbreak. So let's go and get into it. The first thing that we're going to do is going to go into Safari and we're going to go to iEnchantify.net. When you do... Uh, there's a iEnchantify shortcut, which is the application. You can install it. It's the third option down right here. We're going to go ahead and click install here. We're going to hit install one more time, and it's going to go through the whole profile and device management. So we're going to hit install a bunch of times. Let me go ahead and load my password real quick. All right, once you've loaded your password, we're going to hit install again, and it's going to install that profile. So when you back out of it, you can actually uh, see that there's an application on your uh, home screen. You can always click into and it will load you straight to iEnchantify.net where you can download the applications. So when you do, we're going to open up the menu bar and we're going to go into apps. We'll select packages. And this application is really great. It will tell you which applications are working and which are not. Uh, and it will always stay current with it. So it's a great app to have. Download it and just uh, keep it on your device. So if you ever find a way or if you if there's ever a point where your old method or your old GBA for iOS has you know crashed or NDS for iOS has crashed or any other emulator or tweak, you can always revert back to iEnchantify and see if it is working or not. And you can download it from there. So we're going to download the GBA for iOS 2.1. We're going to hit install. And it's going to bring us to this ad website. Now, you may get a lot of um, pop-ups or ads. Go ahead and skip through all of those. And you may have to navigate to and from this app, uh, this screen. And it will eventually bring you back to iEnchantify. So we're going to hit skip ad at the very top here. And like I've sh like you can see right here, it's... Um, there's an application or there's an ad for, you know, an Apple Pro or an iPad Pro. So we're going to actually go back and we're going to go to skip ad one more time. So we'll click on that and it should bring you back to iEnchantify.net. When it does, then you can go and hit install and we'll hit install one more time and it will actually download the emulator without using the date trick. So you won't have to worry about this crashing. The GBA for iOS uh, certificate has been renewed, so you're good to go. So you can actually open up the emulator once you've trusted it. So let's go and hit cancel and we'll go hit the settings button. And under profiles and device management, it should be this one, this classic tours one. We'll go ahead and tap on that and hit trust. Once you've uh, finished trusting on it, you can go ahead and open up the application and you are all set to go. And if you have synced this with your, um, you should be able to sync this with your Dropbox. So I would suggest downloading Dropbox and syncing this emulator to, um, and all your saves to Dropbox. That way, if it ever does crash or if the certificate ever goes uh, bad and you and it needs to be renewed, you can always have your saves backed up and you'll never lose any you know important data. So that's how to get the GBA for iOS emulator and iEnchantify on your iOS devices. This again runs on 9.3.2, no jailbreak needed. And I think it's honestly a great application to have. So go ahead and download this today. And uh, I hope you guys have a good rest of your guys' week. Peace.